Hello, hello everyone. I'm Amber Carlton with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties. And today I am here with your local Fargo Moorhead area uh, market update. So I'm going to dive right in. I have June's pulled up. I'm going to pull up May's right now. And we're going to go through these kind of side by side so you can see how it's changed. Um, I actually kind of anticipated the numbers to look a little bit different. It does feel like it's starting to slow up a little bit. Um, however, June's numbers did not reflect that. So we will see next month what we have for numbers. I anticipate them shifting just a little bit next month. So here we go. Our median sales price went up by right about $4,000. Our average days on market for sold properties went down one day and our average days on market for active properties stayed the same at 69 days. Um, as we look down here into our actual months of absorption rates, and if you've never watched one of these before, I'm going to kind of walk you through it really quick. So when we talk about months of absorption rates, what we're saying is how long it would take to sell off everything we have in inventory for that price point. How many months would it take for that to sell out? So um, six months is a neutral market. Anything above six months is a buyer's market. Anything below six months is a seller's market. And we have been in a seller's market for a very long time now in our local area, especially anything under 300,000 um, has been for probably ever since I moved back from Colorado. Um, once you got into that luxury price point in like 2019, I remember it was like 18 or 19 months worth of absorption rates for anything over 500,000. Um, the past going on year now, at least the past six months. Now I think it's closer to a year now. It's been right around three teetering between three and four. Um, yeah. So that's crazy. Anyways. So if we look at anything under 120, we went from having a half a month worth of inventory up to a month. That's fantastic. Having less than a month worth of inventory is not healthy for anyone. Um, we stayed the same at a month worth of inventory all the way down until our 180 to $200,000 price point. We only had like a third of a month there and now we're up to a month. So we went from five listings all the way up to 16. Thank goodness, because that is one of our entry level price points. We need those houses available for people who are looking for those homes. So thank you if you listed your house in that price point. We appreciate it. We need that inventory. Um, moving on down, we stayed the same all the way through the end. Uh, but you will take note, um, we did stay at three months for 400 to 500 and for 500 and above. However, we went from 68 listings, four to 500,000 up to 75. And our 500,000 plus, we went from 64 listings up to 72. So we did gain some inventory there. Even 300 to 400,000, we went from 116 up to 125. So you can tell all the way down, all of those listing numbers are getting bigger. And that's not a bad thing, you guys. We need more inventory available. We still have a housing shortage. Uh, we still have buyers wanting to buy, even with the higher interest rates they want to own their own home versus renting. And we know that's the best way to get gain. <laughs> I don't know what word I just made up there, but to gain wealth in your life. It's your largest savings tool, biggest investment. It's there to help you grow your wealth. So yeah, I think that pretty much does it. Not too much changed. You can see the numbers are starting to tick up, even though the months didn't really change that much. Um, all good things. We need more inventory. We need things to ease a little bit to get more of these buyers into the homes that they've been looking for. So good, good things. I hope you all have a super wonderful 4th of July. That is right around the corner. It is hard to believe that it is July on Friday and the 4th on Monday. I don't even know where the time goes, um, but I'm super excited to take some time and try to just enjoy it and spend time with friends and family at the lake. I hope you guys all get to do the same. If you ever need anything, please let me know. I accidentally got rid of the wrong screen there. Here's all the different ways you can connect with me. The vast majority are amber.realtor for social media. You can also find me under amber carlton realtor 
um, my cell phone number is pretty much anywhere. So if you ever have a question, feel free to text, personal message me, anything like that. Hi, Joey. I hope you're well. So yeah, you guys take care. Enjoy your fourth. If you have questions, hit me up. Bye now.